will feel good after chocolate night. If this one's organic, we read the label, it has maltodextrin. It's not sodium that's causing your puffiness, it's foods you cannot recognize. All right, so are we seeing a theme with accounts like this yet? So they all claim to have started learning how to read ingredient labels, which is ironic because half the time they're just pointing at ingredients and saying that they don't know what it is and they don't know how to pronounce it. But second of all, these claims of inflammation are everywhere now. I feel like it's the new toxic. So everybody just picks out an ingredient that they don't like or they don't know what it is and they just call it inflammatory. This one is particularly ridiculous because she pointed out maltodextrin, which is just long chains of glucose. Your body definitely knows what to do with glucose, whether you know how to pronounce it or whether you know what it is or not. Your, your body recognizes it as glucose. So again, if somebody's claiming inflammation, they better be giving more information on what they're talking about and citing some evidence because just saying inflammatory means nothing if you're not providing any more information. And of course, these pre-made spice packets, taco seasonings aren't necessary for making tacos. Obviously, it's just a convenience. So if you want to just purchase spices separately and make your own or purchase one without maltodextrin, you can do that too. But it's not inflammatory and just because you don't know what it is doesn't mean your body doesn't know what to do with it. Also, there's a very small amount of maltodextrin in this and you're adding an entire packet of that to like probably a pound of ground meat and then that's making up multiple servings of tacos, which by the way are typically in a tortilla, which is carbohydrates. So the amount of carbohydrate that that maltodextrin in that seasoning is adding to your entire meal is negligible and just the whole thing is ridiculous.